excellent laborer back to show you how to pressure test your plumbing system. So after you rough in your drain lines and pressure lines, you'll want to do some kind of test. Some people do water tests, some people do air tests. We typically just do uh, the air test. It's a little easier to do and um, just as effective in my opinion, if not more effective. So the cap has a place for a half inch or three eighths side and a quarter inch side. So for the three eighths, most of these gauges come in three eighths. And you just the depths right here, then your quarter inch side, you can put your valve stem on. And for the pressure lines, <clears throat> let me just pull this up here so you can see a little easier. Just got a half inch shark bite that has a half inch female, then a half inch male to three eighths adapter. Then we have our pressure gauge onto that. So that's ready to go. We just need to get some air in it. And to get air in the system, you can just come to the cold side, put the similar type of adapter. In this case, we just got a shark bite down here that is a union for half inch pipe. So it just transitions from PEX to CPVC. Then we have this, we, we made this years ago. We just keep reusing it for CPVC, but went to PEX, so still works. But yeah, as you can see, half inch male adapter that has a female end that gives you a quarter inch um, for your valve stem. So it's pretty simple setup, really. So let's get some pressure in it and see if it holds. Okay, so we put uh, 10 pounds in the drain lines here and it's been sitting for several hours and it looks like uh, we passed our drain line test and our pressure lines. Let's check. And we set at 110, still at 110, so it looks like our pressure lines have passed. But I'd like to, I was kind of hoping there was a leak. I could show you how to find it. Oh, yeah. Here's a soapy solution I brought in case we had a leak. It's just take some simple dish liquid and fill it up in a spray bottle. You just want about a quarter inch at the bottom to fill the rest up with water. And uh, make sure it's in a pump bottle. That way you can obviously spray it onto the fittings or joints where you suspect a leak might be. And uh, what we do is we go through and put soap on all the joints. If you don't have anywhere that you suspect a leak, specifically, you just check every joint. Okay guys, I wanted to show you how to find leaks. So what I did is I just cracked this plug on the end of this drop ear just enough to cause a little leak. Um, so if you're going around spraying all the joints, look for air bubbles coming up after you spray it. So if that's the joint, I'm gonna take my soap here. Get to where you can see it. So we're gonna take the soap, soapy water solution and spray on it. And look at that. You couldn't hear any air sissing, nothing like that. You spray a little soapy water on it and it's quite obvious. So let me show you a joint that doesn't have a leak. So here's one that's 
If you spray soapy water on it, that's what it should look like. No air bubbles, nothing. See that? We cracked this open just to show you what a leak looked like. And that's what a leak looks like. Okay, so we went ahead and uh, tightened this down. Let's spray some more soap. And it is looking like there is still a little leak. See, at first glance, you never would have guessed. All right, we tightened it up a little more. Let's see what we got. Okay, it looks like we got her fixed.